Uh, so like we do, we, we lead ourselves into a place of prayer, uh, just starting through the book of Daniel. That's what we have ourselves doing right now. So yesterday we treated verse three of chapter two. Uh, today we're going to verse four of chapter two. And it says, then the Chaldeans spoke to the king in Aramaic. O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream and we will give the interpretation. <laughs> they were scared. The king was asking of them something they've never done before, something they, did not, they didn't have understanding of. It was easy for them in their wisdom to be able to interpret people's dream, but it wasn't easy or given to them to be able to know the dream that people had that they did not tell them, right? They did not know how to go into the secret place to listen in to dreams of men, right? And the king was asking of them to do that. Right, it was like telling them stretch, stretch, come out of your comfort zone. Yes, you're in a comfort zone. That's what you do. That's what you have understanding in. But now there's a new situation. There, there is a, there is a, um, there's a new threat to us. There's, there's a new uncertainty around us, and we need to answer to it. We need to live up to the expectation of life. So he's saying, hey, come, not just interpretation. I need you to tell me the dream that I had. You know, and that's what life is, right? The only constant thing in life is change, right? You get comfortable, you learn up to this, you get comfortable too with it. But life is going to ask more of you, right? More of you, more of you, right? Life is, is, is a constant change. Like we say, as you're coming out of one thing, you're going into another, Right, as you're going from going from one level to another, there are new demands, there are new challenges in, in that new level. No level is such that you say, Let my servant rest in peace. Right, we only do that when we lead this life, as uh, Rabbi uh, Daniel Lapi would say. Right, in the Jewish alphabet, there is no word like retire. Right, God did not plan that we're going to retire on this side of eternity. For as long as we're on this side of eternity, there's always something for us to do. Oh, our being might not be at the same capacity, might not be at the same intensity because our body is changing, right? We're gaining wisdom, but at the same time, our bodies, uh, as it were, depreciated. We're getting older. There are things we cannot do at our older age that we're able to do at the younger age, but then we don't have to use physical energy even as we grow older, because we're getting more wisdom, more wisdom. So we can do a whole lot more with a whole lot less because we have experience working on our behalf. We have wisdom working on our behalf. We have knowledge working on our behalf. We have wisdom working on our behalf. But life is always going to continually demand of us, right? Life is continually demand of us. So we cannot stay in a comfortable place for too long. Yes, it's okay to be comfortable, but when you are comfortable, it's time to prepare for war. It's time to begin to do the things that, would, that, you need, that, that, that is needed for your vision, for your purpose, for your intent. It's time to build yourself because you know the storm is coming. It's, it's time to build foundation because you know the storm. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Amen. thanks for praying. Thanks for praying. Amen. Amen. We're just sharing uh, the, the fourth verse of Daniel chapter 2. Nebuchadnezzar was requesting of the, of the Chaldeans that they would tell him his own dream. So the Chaldeans were wise people. They were like the Greeks. They understood the stars. They understood the times. They understood dreams. They could interpret dreams when you tell them your dream. But what was not given to them or the technology they had not yet advanced to was being able to tell someone their own dream. But that was what Nebuchadnezzar needed. But they had not arrived at that level. But that is life. Life would always, life keeps on going, whether we know it or not, whether I want it or not. Life waits for nobody. God has already closed the ages. He has already judged time. There are things that must happen at every point in time. There are things that must happen tomorrow. There are things that must happen next week. There are things that must happen next month. It will happen whether we are ready or not. 
If we are not ready, then we'll miss it. If we are ready, then we'll catch it. So the time is already ordained by God. It's up to us to make sure that we're continuously developing ourselves. We don't stay in one level and be satisfied. Oh, all right. I'm winning hundred souls of Christ now, so I've arrived fired. But whatever it is in your stream of life, you have to keep on developing yourself. You have to keep on improving yourself. You cannot stay at the same level and expect to excel because you are not moving and life is moving faster than you. You are actually going backwards, right? So you'll see people like uh, the rich people, um, Warren Buffett, you'll see uh, Bill Gates. They're always reading. Why are they reading? They are adding, they are gaining momentum. They are adding knowledge to their knowledge. They are gaining wisdom. They are, being, they, are, they are maximizing their time. As the Bible would say, that we should, uh, we should, how does it put it out? It says, but the days are evil, right? We, we, we should redeem the time. What they are doing there is that, it's just like what I, I still would say. It says, I have gone faster, I have seen further, because I sat on the shoulders of those that have gone before me. They are, they, I, I saw what they saw without having to go through what they went through. I saw what they saw without having to spend the same time that they lived. So I'm gaining people's years. Even though I might be 24, in, in actual sense, I might be a thousand years old because of the accumulation of wisdom that I'm gaining to work on my behalf. Right? None of us can live enough time to have all the wisdom that we need to live life and excel. So it's up to us to gain from other people's wisdom, gain from other people's experience, learn from them and not having to repeat their mistake so that we can, be, we can start at where they stopped, right? The child there has not developed themselves enough to be able to know people's dreams. Therefore, they could not meet up to the need at that point in time and they almost lost their life, right? It might be a different level. It might be losing people's life. It might just be being set aside. It might be losing opportunity. But the way to life is not being comfortable where we are, but to continuously press forward. Like Paul would say, I press towards the mark, towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. I press towards it. I press towards it. I'm not satisfied with where I've already attained, but I press so that I will be known, even, so that I will know even as I am known. Right, that is God's requirement of us. That's God's desire for us. That's what life is, is expects of us, right? And that's the only way we can get the fullness of life. That's the only way we can live up to the requirement, the expectation of God upon our lives, you know? So that's just what I want to encourage us with today, that we should never fail, never get to a place where we feel that we have arrived. Never take times of comfort, times of uh, ease for granted. Where you don't have anything rushing at you, you don't have house to pay. Those times are times to grow, not to waste time away because you are wasting your life. Those times are breaks that God intentionally brings your way so you can build strength because war is coming, the storm is coming. If the strength you build in time of peace is what will determine whether you're able to withstand this. They don't come to kill you, they come to promote you, but they might kill you if you are not ready for them, right? So that is in our hands, right? Goes and it's, it's going to bring the storm. It's going to bring the war. It's up to us to prepare or not prepare. That determines whether it's going to promote us or it's going to kill us. It's also it's for us to decide. To, to decide. God help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.